Hello viewers, welcome to another one more exciting real estate video. This video is a very special video. Uh, we have been uh, uh, talking about uh, posh luxury real estate across Bangalore in so many of our videos. You must have watched some of the BDA properties and uh, you know what are the basic real estate, uh, the standard real estate terminologies, everything would have come across uh, through our channel. But this video is something special. Uh, this video uh, we are going to talk about the senior living. Uh, if you if you have been living your life, uh, have you ever thought uh, uh, your parents are living their life? Have you ever thought that uh, uh, in their golden years or they're enjoying their life? If you have a doubt, you must continue watching this video because in this video we are going to talk about the senior living. And uh, to talk about senior living, we have our special guest, uh, the founder and uh, director of uh, Marsum Senior Living, uh, Sumati Antaram and uh, the partner of Manasom Senior Living, my dear friend uh, Kushal Ramesh is here with us uh, to talk it out about uh, the senior living, uh, the stigma around uh, senior living yeah. and uh, so many other things uh, we are going to talk about. So hang on, watch this video until the end if you ever wanted to give a beautiful life to your parents or your near and dear ones. My name is Balaji Budhanap and as you know, I sell real estate across Bangalore with Pull Manker, the world's largest real estate firm. So, come on, let's get going with it. Welcome uh, Sumanti and Kushal to our uh, channel today. Thank you, and, thank uh, you Balaji. Thank you for calling. Uh, <laughs> most welcome. What a lovely day to talk about uh, this topic. Yeah. Uh, I've been uh, seeing all your uh, wonderful uh, work and the noble uh, uh, things which you guys do. Uh, but for our audience sake, what is Manasom and what is unique offerings compared to others? Sure. Um, thank you for the opportunity, Balaji. Yes, even though we knew, we didn't sell uh, senior homes as of now. And uh, even now, what I feel is, uh, if you are living with your parents, it is the best gift you can also give it back to them because they had so much of dream and aspiration when they grew you up. So we would like to give back the same. But unfortunately, because of the growth opportunities and various other things, if you are living out of their house and you are thinking that you are giving them the best place to live in by providing a larger house with a lot of facilities of servant, cook, drivers, then that is a small catch. More than that, they require companionship, their medical care to be taken nicely, as well as their food and their other activities. And that is how Manasum was born. So, I'm 100% from an IT background, 25 years of experience only in that. But passion was to take care of elders. So, there are uh, one section of elders always uh, where the children are in abroad and they are very fulfilled with their family requirement. But when it comes to them, uh, they are not that much uh, happy with themselves because they sacrifice until the end they sacrifice. Whether be it eating, whether uh, to go out for function or uh, to enjoy themselves and also pursue a hobby what they would have left because of the children and other things, we gave it back to them. So that is how we were thinking and uh, four brains joined together, Manasum started. So definitely uh, my partner uh, Anantram who is my husband and uh, business partner too, Mangalchan Jain, Kushal and uh, me, myself, Sumati and uh, we four of us started this journey together to give a better life to the seniors. So how do I do it differently? It is a regular lifestyle of what they adapt in the house. But here it is again friends and families together, right? So in your, uh, I'm just asking you, in your life throughout, which was the best portion of your life you enjoyed the most? Uh, definitely childhood uh, school days. Okay, school days and college days yeah. is the maximum answer we get. So in that period, if you recall yourself, the happiness was the main portion. Right. You don't worry about whether your uh, colleague, uh, your fellow student is a rich guy or a poor guy, whether you had money or not. How did you travel? What did, doesn't make any sense. But the friendship was much, much stronger and uh, giving you happiness more than any of the lifestyle. So that is what we want to bring it back in Manasum. Manasum is getting back your childhood days or the memorable days of your college with your friends where you don't worry about your finances or anything but you want companionship. You want support from each other and that is what we provide in Manasum. It is a retirement community 
where we form a community of around 200 300 houses and we give them the best living possible by taking care of their food medical and extracurricular activities okay okay that's nice but uh, defend senior because uh, sometimes a senior doesn't admit he is a senior <laughs> and, uh, how do you how do you convince who is senior and uh, what is the definition of a senior living? if you ask me that question i have a very good answer in our uh, senior citizen retirement home so called we call all our uh, people living there as only boys and girls mm. because there is no so nobody called senior it is only in our college or experience where we call because of the experience of your life right mm. otherwise all are boys and girls the minute you address them like that they enjoy mm. i don't call any of the seniors as seniors because they don't deserve but jokes apart, what is, what is exactly technical thing okay. of... Uh, See, the senior citizen means, according to us, where they require some sort of a dependency, I can okay. say. See, uh, as we say, as we grow old, so-called, our physical strength comes down, mm. but mental and monetary strength are there. Mm. So, when the physical strength comes down, that is when you are called as a senior, where you require a person to help you, mm. assist you, to do a lot of things. It is not wrong. It is a graceful, natural cycle of any human being. Mm. So that when we reach, that is called senior citizens. But in ours, as far as they are active, they are only called as elders or uh, senior just for the namesake, but they are very, very active. And we work on active senior living in our Manasun project. Okay. My next question was like, you know, Kushal, uh, yeah, Manaji. Uh, why are we separate? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we are calling them senior, I have said in my intro that, you know, absolutely. So, so called and stigma is also attached uh, that, you know, uh, senior living, you know, are you living in a senior home? Correct. Are you living in an old age home? Absolutely. So these are all the stigmas yes. in a society where they, they are afraid to talk about it in the open True. within the society. So, why are we separating them? What is this uh, something which they have to live together? All these 300 families uh, should be only a senior. Uh, uh, what is your thought process? Absolutely. Uh, that's when even I started thinking when I you know joined Manasam. Until I really you know knew Sumati, Anantram, and Mangalchand well, I had no idea about this world called senior living itself. But then later when I joined, I saw these independent communities, which we also already operate one uh, for the last uh, three years called Manasum Avigna, where there are independent senior living communities like you told, they really separated out and uh, you know, the, but it's a world by itself when you go and actually see there. We think that you know, there is an independent senior living community and there's 100% like you told, there's a small stigma, stigma that stays in when you're moving into a senior living and retirement homes. But slowly keeps, we should keep evolving uh, and then we started uh, you know put this, putting this on the drawing board 3-4 uh, years back that why should seniors stay away you know why should, be, why should it be an independent community why should it not be an intergenerational community wherein that answers your question why should, be, why should seniors be staying away why should they not see a child playing in a swimming pool every day morning why should they not see a couple a young couple walking around them every day but still like Samuti explained uh, how can we give them all the facilities and assistance that they require at that point of time? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we have an answer for that today. <laughs> right, excellent. So all your uh, properties, projects, or uh, and interconnected, uh, it has got all, all the demographics, uh, the end population, and also the mixed kind of uh, people are there in those kind of projects. Is is what you are looking at uh, setting up the senior living, or uh, how will this can you elaborate? Absolutely. How, you how they are going to see the swimming pool? <laughs> so, so as in as in when the industry grows, uh, senior living is also now growing as an industry. I am not telling you that uh, every senior every senior person wants the intergenerational community, but at the same time, the need for intergenerational community is certainly growing. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I will always say that uh, our independent senior living communities also will have its own charm, and people would like to go there. Mm -hmm. But uh, today, we are bringing you uh, our newest uh, launch that is Banyan at Godrej Royal Woods which is an intergenerational community with about uh, 1600 odd units and out of which 191 units of that particular community will be uh, a senior living community inside. So that it's a blend of uh, normal housing and senior living housing putting together. Fabulous. So I have this brochure in front of me, uh, which uh, you call it as Godrej uh, Banyan. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, this is a Godrej uh, project uh, which is alongside the Devnali Airport uh, 
side. Correct. And, uh, you have one tower uh, which has so many units. Yeah, 191 units. 191 units exclusively yes. for senior living. Yes. Okay. Before jumping into uh, this specific project, uh, would you like to cover some of the aspects like uh, you know what is how is Bangalore as a city evolving when, when it comes to the senior living? Yeah. Uh, what are its challenges and uh, uh, how uh, neglected are these uh, people? When it comes to their health, their assisted livings, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, you know so many other factors which you know better than me. Yeah. So rather than me asking, can you cover uh, such things? What how the city is evolving towards the senior living side? See, in any metro cities, as you know, in India, because of the opportunity, the children are in abroad, mm -hmm. and uh, they feel that the parents are well settled and they have been in the area. And uh, if you go and talk to the parents, also, no. They are telling, I have lived in Jainagar for so many years. Yeah. Now I don't want to move out of this place. Or Basangudi is very close to me. Why should I just like that shift and other things? This is something which is there with all the uh, elderly people as well as the youngsters. Mm -hmm. Because the property is so good. and so, But what happens inside their house mm -hmm. on a day to day, if I break it out and show it to you. Mm -hmm. They have been given definitely a lot of assistance. Like uh, one uh, cook will come in the morning, then one housemaid will come and clean the house, then there will be a driver, there will be a nurse on uh, uh, this thing and they will get all the household requirements at home. But actually if you sit back and think leisurely, all these things are a pressure to them again. Mm. Because managing all the four people is managing a small office if you ask me. Yeah. Because if a cook does not come, what do I eat? Because I am not so good in all the electronic gadgets of Zomato, Swiggy, order. Mm. So I become tense. Mm. What do I eat today? Either a refrigerated food or I eat uh, something and I just or eat some fruits. Mm. Say for example, I am not well. I have to be taken to a doctor mm. and this uh, driver has not come. Mm. Any of have to look for Ola, Uber. Again, it's an app based which I am not comfortable. Mm. So every point of uh, their life, there is a strain. But they close and they don't tell their children because end of the day they want to keep a lot of milk for their children and do not know their pain. <coughs> so that is what we want to address because the younger generation needs to understand. Come and stay with them for a day and look at it. Mm -hmm. I am not telling they have to go into a uh, exclusive home as you ask, executed place. No. Mm -hmm. Here they are living with 100 other friends, right? Mm. So, everybody are in a similar situation. Either they are not married, mm. either they don't have children. Mm. There will be at least one or two in the family where uh, they would have lost one of the spouse. Mm. So, their living has become a little challenge which they never express themselves. Mm. If you go and ask them, they will smile and say, no, no, we are very happy. But you can give a better life. Mm. And we don't. Call, I don't want to call this as a retirement home. Mm. We want to call this as serviced apartments for seniors. Okay. It is exactly what we are doing now. That old stigma of old age homes, senior homes, retirement homes have to be eradicated in the market because that is what is putting off the seniors. Okay. If you go and tell them that I am giving a servant home, they will come. If you tell them I am going to give a retirement home, no, no, I am not become so old to retire. <laughs> that is the first thing because the lady of the house does not retire till her life. Right. She has to cook, she has to do gardening, she has to do a lot of multiple things according to the uh, today's uh, lifestyle uh, thing. But as we grow, the generation changes. Say for example, if somebody are in 40s and 50s, no, we don't mind giving up our uh, kitchen today. Yeah. Because we want good food time to time, but we want to pursue what we want to do so that we can do much more things. Right. So same aspiration is there for them, but it is not taken up. Okay. If you talk to them you would definitely identify and give them service apartments. Okay. And uh, there is one more continuation of this is, uh, if I buy a retirement home, who will take care of it? If they are not there, how do they sell it? And how do we maintain it and all? Nowadays, it is not difficult. It is like buying any other apartment or any other asset for your mind. You can buy it, you can sell it, rent it, lease it, do anything you want with the property. Okay. So it is not a, a something very extraordinary. But only thing we insist that the people who are coming there and living, one person should be above 50 years right. so that they enjoy the services what we provide. I got it. Yeah. Let me come back to the services what you guys provide. Uh, before that, you know, I had my own experiences, right? So uh, people okay. uh, uh, sell properties and they move on. 
uh, for various reasons like you know the children have settled abroad and they are living in a very palatial house okay. as you said they want to downsize and getting into an apartment True. and apartment has its own challenges um, you don't get whatever you wanted yes. as you rightly cover the cook the maid yes. uh, the driver is all not available when we most needed yes so these are the things which many of my clients have also come back and said uh, uh, but what I was wondering was uh, if uh, if for all they have decided to move on to a senior living, uh, why within the same city? Why not like Chikmagalur or <laughs> why not like Uti or Pondicherry? Uh, why within the same city? Is there uh, any demand that I should be living within the same city or I should be next to the airport? What are your thoughts? So it's it's basically end of the day again when we come back to real estate selling. No, me being from a hardcore real estate uh, uh, sales background. When it's permanent housing, whether it is a youngster uh, or a middle-aged person or a senior, uh, it's all about convenience and location today. Mm. Yes, of course, uh, there is a niche segment of people who would love to go and settle back in Chikmaglu, Roti or several other places. But uh, as a country, do we, we do really have that kind of a convenience when it comes to healthcare and other facilities that we can reach out to remote places so fast? Not yet. We are not no. there yet, right? No. So maybe in future when we have one, I would love to build retirement mm. communities across, uh, you know, hill stations and beautiful uh, places where we really spend our retirement summits nature. Mm. Uh, but for now, in today's world, uh, it's all about convenience and uh, comfort. Mm. So do people uh, definitely prefer uh, staying uh, closer to uh, comfort and convenience is what I would say. Today, if you see in Bangalore, especially uh, with all the traffic, pollution and that, that what you ask, people ask uh, how, how, you know, I don't know how many times in a week they travel or how many times in a month they travel. But if you ask this new thing everywhere, it's all about how close are you to the airport. Right. Right? <laughs> that's, that's the, you know, so convenience Bangalore, for today. Bangalore airport is being one of the busiest airports in the country. Yes. Uh, most of them take... Um, uh, you know, domestic uh, yes. often. Yes. Uh, they want to be very close to the airport because, True. unfortunately, in Bangalore, the traffic <laughs> is really far. Yes. Really far. True. The traffic, the Correct. stress involved with that. Yeah. And it makes really sense uh, for anybody to move on to the North Bangalore. We have covered a separate uh, segment altogether in one more video, oh. earlier, which we did, especially the growth uh, on the North Bangalore. Oh, nice. So, your project has been in the North Bangalore. Yeah. Spot on. Yes. So, we want to talk about it <laughs> in detail. But before True. let me ask one question to the audience. Uh, uh, you have been uh, watching until this moment. If you if you think that uh, senior living is not something as uh, which is a must uh, for uh, any of the people who are attending that age and who want to enjoy the golden years, please comment yes or put your thoughts. Uh, me, Somati and Kushal will definitely read those comments and reply to you. And uh, with that, we'll continue with the next set of questions. And uh, yeah, coming back to this project, uh, which is closer to the airport, uh, Gold Ridge uh, yes. Banyan. Uh, it's a stone throw. <laughs> Gold Ridge soil was uh, Banyan, which is a stone throw away yeah. uh, to the airport. Yes. Now the Terminal 2 has come. Yes. Do I get a view of the Terminal 2 also? No, absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get the view of the yeah. Terminal 2, come yeah. to our uh, block especially. Uh -huh. So we are at the block number 6 in Godridge Royal Woods. Mm -hmm. And if you go to our uh, houses, any houses above 4th floor, you get the complete view of Terminal 1, Runway 1 and Terminal 2. Okay. All these three views are there. Kushan, just give a brief uh, synopsis of what this project is. Okay. Overall and then what is your offering? Sure. So, let me just start with the location itself because that's something that's very, very important for Bangalore. We're just right uh, after the uh, airport toll, when you go from Bangalore towards the Hyderabad Highway, just cross the airport toll and you can see the uh, building uh, standing tall and just right on the highway on the right hand side. The project's name is called uh, Godrej Royal Lutz. It's a 13 acre beautiful project with 1000 plus trees in the project and it has about 6 towers with 1671 units. Uh, coming to tower number 6 which is called Banyan, the Banyan at Godrej Royal Lutz by Manasam Senior Living offers you 191 luxurious 1 and 2 BHK senior living homes. So the project is ready and uh, the occupancy or certificate is also received for the project. We are all set to start the possession by uh, beginning of August this year. So coming to the amenities and uh, services of the entire project first, 
it has a beautiful uh, you know lung space in between the project where you have uh, you know amenities such as uh, amphitheater uh, and uh, the green space is segregated to every age possible mm -hmm. right from a uh, you know infant to the eldest person in the family you have amenities for everybody amidst the greens okay. apart from that we have podium level amenities where you have four beautiful landscaped garden a large swimming pool and a 18000 square feet lavish clubhouse with 40 plus amenities which caters to uh, everybody in the family. Okay. Now there is an exclusive clubhouse of 8,000 square feet, which is specialized for tower number six for senior living, okay. which houses a, a dining area, a vegetarian dining area, a healthcare center, a wellness center, library, and indoor games. These are all specific to senior living tower. Mm -hmm. So when you come to a senior living home, how is it different from a normal home, right? So it 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 has a different set of specification when you compare it to the normal homes. The entire uh, flooring will be anti-skid so that you know it is more uh, easier for people to navigate and then all the doorways will be one meter doorway wide so that uh, you know uh, it's easier for any kind of uh, wheelchair or a stretch of uh, movement whenever it is required. And we have this panic alarm system which is uh, essentially required for any senior living home because whenever there is an emergency it, we always believe that the response time is just about two to three minutes not more than that because that's the golden time that you need to respond so we have this entire emergency alarm system which is called panic alarm system which will be managed centrally any emergency in the home whether they're in the bathroom bedroom or living room just at the click of a button you have somebody at you within two minutes of your space so these are all uh, things and also of course these are all the things which i say but if i have it then not need it <laughs> absolutely that gives a lot of confidence yes. through that and uh, that expands the one's uh, happiness i would say yes. especially in asia true See, we have a panic button system mm. inside every house where all of a sudden if they fall down or if they have got a fall if they are not able to do something they just have to press and it goes to five people immediately to rush them to go and say like this it's a small small things right. but so many times what happened along with the friendship people also understand the usage of gadgets right and as you rightly said today i don't know to operate this but believe me all the elders there would operate at google meet and uh, <laughs> the whatsapp and uh, Zoom meeting yeah. very well they because are, they, are, they are the first ones to get adopted. <laughs> they attend Absolutely. online trainings. Yeah. They attend online meetings and video calling for their children is their best hobby. Yeah. So we understand that they are able to do so much. So what we have done in the uh, clubhouse area also, no, we have got along a uh, lot of mind games. We have got indoor games. We have got the olden type of games which they used to play when they are in childhood. Apart from the uh, multi facility hall. And uh, they have a parlor, so even they have to be beautified every time. Of course. And they enjoy massages. So right. here we get a geriatric uh, massage people specialist where we book and we do the massages. Right. So they they enjoy the most here. And library has got uh, all five to six uh, languages, uh, magazines and newspapers where they read and they discuss. And they are fully occupied. That's what I could say. Right. Uh, so morning to evening some activity like yoga will be there and here Banyan being such a beautiful place with lot of nature in front of them they would walk around the park they would sit there we will have laughter therapy we will have meditation we will have a little bit of satsang so everything on a combination on a platter of it so that they enjoy okay so uh, what I what I'm not hoping is like you know we are forcing people to enjoy <laughs> we are leaving them at their own pace 100%. and all these group activities everything is optional. Yes. So let me give you an example. We already run one community called Manasu Mavigna like I told you, right? So what amazes me is that uh, if we go around in the 4 o'clock or 4.30 in the evening, mm -hmm. everybody will together come to the dining area, all will have their coffee tea and then uh, I will see one set of people straight going towards satsang mm -hmm. where we have about 15-20 ladies, about 10 <laughs> men going opening Vishnu Sahasranama and start doing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have another set of 10 people who's, uh, who really goes down to my reception lobby they are all sitting and uh, you know anything that happens in the world you will get the news there. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. That's not surprising. And for, your, <laughs> and for your information it is men's corner. It is not okay. women's corner. <laughs> and now I see a women corner. Up, up, so, yeah. Yeah, so now this men is, I mean of course we are known for it. We need to talk about everybody uh, in the world, what's happening. And I see a new set of women now. That's because we don't control any of the domestic affairs. 
Everything is controlled by exactly. the internet. <laughs> exactly. We, we only talk about the uh, internship president. Exactly. Any <laughs> exactly. I love you, exactly. Our president, one of the president told him. Yeah. yeah. Sumati, you know what? Uh, we have left all the domestic requirements yeah. to my ladies of the house. And you know, here what we discuss, we discuss about US economy and Indian economy, now Pakistan is doing, yeah. how we have to be now, a lot of things yeah. on our level we discuss and it's fantastic. <laughs> Enjoy both sides. Yeah. Let me come to the dining which is quite uh, exciting, which uh, you people have already discussed yes. earlier. Yes. Talk us too because it's remote. <laughs> what is there? No, I, I, so I, 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 I want Sumati to talk this because <laughs> it's her dream of this entire menu that you know really is part of our menu from day one, yes. and I leave it to her to talk about so this. When we, uh, when we started, see for any lady of the house, the first and foremost thing which I cannot leave it today also is cooking right. and food, which cannot be shared or accepted by others. So that is why we concentrate more here. The first and foremost thing what we did is we divided the entire food into six times so that their food is taken care of well and the health is monitored well. Mm. So the first one is bed coffee, bed tea at six to seven o'clock as and when they require. Well, it can be served at home or they can come down, go for a small walk and uh, mm. have their coffee tea. The next one is eight o'clock. It will be a uh, breakfast. Mm. Breakfast every day start with two South Indian breakfast. And we will have red butter jam, we will have cornflakes, we will have kanji, we will have oats and we will have coffee tea again. So, this is either all served in the dining area? Or yes, it is served on the dining area. We have got two dining areas in Banyan. Uh, one will have around a seating of 50 capacity, the other one will have 75. And we have facilities to take it to their house and serve it in their house also at a small nominal cost. Mm. So, and the next one would be uh, by 10 30 11. We will serve one bowl of fruit every day mm. and every day the fruits will change according to the season and according to what they can eat. Mm. Then again 12.30 to 1 we start our lunch. So lunch starts with every day one soup, raw vegetable salad, then they will have fulka, ragi mudde, soft rice, hard rice, then they will have rice with some sambar, curds, pickles, vegetables, then a buttermilk. So with that we end the uh, Lunch again, it is a buffet lunch, unlimited, oh. along with the ghee always. Mm -hmm. And again, the evening, four o'clock exactly, we keep the coffee tea ready mm -hmm. with the snacks. So, mm -hmm. snacks would be every day uh, either a bhaji bonda or a masal puri, bel puri, pani puri, whatever they would love to eat, but mm -hmm. they have not got an opportunity because of various reasons. Mm -hmm. Again, by seven o'clock, the dinner is ready. So, the dinner is always we have three compartments one is fulka with sabji, if they are used to. The second one would be a tiffin if they are used to, or else it is a rice, rasam and a little bit of vegetable and night milk. Mm. So all these things we cover from the morning to night so that lady of the house does not have to pamper their husband anymore. It is <laughs> our duty to pamper and along with them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It is not only the cooking, in fact, uh, it is uh, after the mess created, after the eating of whatever we have cooked. Yes. I know. So what the biggest issue is, I think that is taken care of, that's a hats off to you and your management. And apart from this, I forgot to tell you, uh, we have every reason to celebrate as a function or as a festival. Mm -hmm. All festivals are celebrated together. Right. If it is Yugati, the entire people will be there, well colored, dressed, and it will be a festival meal with banana leaves with all the items of that particular day's speciality. Right. If it is Yugadi, we will have Obertu. If it is uh, Deepavali, we will have two, three sweets. And we understand that a lot of people are diabetic and sugar. People listening <laughs> here, what is this? People are loading. No, it will not be loaded. It's a very contented one. Right. Do you know that your parents still eat whether you get it or not, whether you are there or not? <laughs> so that we are distributing yeah. and making it efficient so that they control and they eat. Awesome. Awesome. So I think enough of listening to all these uh, <laughs> food items. I'm feeling so loaded. Yeah. I'm just listening. <laughs> so let us talk about something where they are going to live. Yes. Right. So uh, what is it we are offering? One bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms. Yes. What is that? What is the mission man? What is that inside? Perfect. So we have a blend of uh, one and uh, two bedroom units. The one bedroom is uh, 786 square feet. It comes with a living room, uh, a smaller kitchenette uh, because you don't need a full fledged kitchen, right? Because cooking is taken care of well. So it's more of uh, heating and, uh, you know, small cooking that you do whenever you want to. 
So it comes with a kitchenette, uh, a living room, a large master bedroom with a 12 by 12 size, uh, a good decent size bathrooms like I told you earlier, uh, it comes with a facility of wheelchair friendliness, right? Mm. And also a beautiful balcony where you can sit across and, uh, you know, spend your evening sipping a cup of coffee or tea or reading your own magazine. Right. And uh, the set, two BHK homes uh, come with uh, 1043 square feet. Uh, in addition to the one bedroom uh, specifications that I told you, you get an additional bedroom and a common bathroom in a two bedroom uh, home. I think that's, it's beautiful and sufficient for a, for a couple or a, you know, a single person to you know, have their retirement because uh, rest everything is taken care of at the common amenities place. Okay, so yeah. I get it. So the space looks very compact yes. for uh, husband and wife uh, or a single person there. Correct. Uh, but what happens when they get a guest yeah. when the children travel from abroad? Or when sudden somebody turn, you know, uh, happens to stay overnight. Yes. So what is the what is that? Element? So it's like I told you, it's absolutely a hassle-free living. You don't worry. Whenever your children come, also it's no additional burden to you. We will give you similar one and two BHK homes on rental whenever uh, short stay rentals whenever your children or your uh, relatives or friends come and stay. Oh. Whether you de de need it for a day or a week or a month, just give us notice in advance and you'll get the short term stay. For them as well. So Manasu always have some challenge units is that only for this place. Yes. Absolutely. Not only that, you have to only tell us the timing of the flight. <laughs> we go there, we pick them up, we come here, we ensure that we are taking care of them well. Uh, see what happens is uh, after some time you know, we all get into a lifestyle right? right whether with children without children and also that should not be disturbed as our uh, criteria. At the same time children and grandchildren are the people who are their uh, energy boosters I can say. <laughs> so they wait for them for one year two year to meet at that time they have to be together. Right. So here privacy is also given plus the place is also given well. So Manasum is one such place where people can come and not for one night, two nights, trial stay, one month, two months and long lease and long rent. Because we want to give all the services possible so that they enjoy the most. But right now in Banyan it is only selling. But in our first project we have got all these things ready. I think we're talking too much about you know children living abroad yeah. and uh, parents living here. Right. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, you know, being from the younger generation now, the lifestyles are changing. Not necessarily that only your uh, children should stay abroad for parents to come and enjoy senior living. My parents are very clear that they don't want to stay with me ever <laughs> because of the change lifestyle needs to be urgent. Nothing else. Right. Uh, me and my parents just live about 30 kilometers away. Uh, so I'll tell you a simple story. Like, like I stayed with my parents till I you know graduated and stuff. Uh, but how many times do we actually meet? That's yeah. how I many times? <laughs> I live with my own parents. Yeah. I don't know when I meet them. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, tr true. And are we actually able to take care of their day-to-day -day needs? Am I or uh, is Balaji or Kushal able to take my father uh, to a bank? Uh, am I able to ensure that uh, you know we can give them a healthy, cooked, fresh meal at every given point of time? Because of the changed lifestyle needs and uh, you know fast and work life, right? Right. I always tell this. My father used to work precisely eight hours a day. Mm. He's worked for a PSU sector and he worked eight for eight hours for the day and he used to give the eight hours completely back to children. But today's lifestyle, uh, you know, when you see any middle-aged person between 30 to 50, they're working almost 10, 12 hours a day, neither ne they have time for the children nor the parents, right? So even if you live in this, inside the city, we have a lot of them living in our community where the parents live happily in the retirement home communities and weekends, the chil either the children come here and they also enjoy the hassle-free living right. for that per two particular days or the parents go to their you know uh, children's home uh, for uh, staying with them. I love the question of you asking who should buy this right that is your precise question. That's right. That's right. So because we are, uh, we are looking at uh, we are positioning this as a senior living Yeah. and uh, I don't know whether the seniors come and buy or the children's gift to the parents and uh, whether they are, they are going to be really happy or not. So there's a lot of doubts and questions. So yes. what are your thoughts? See, what happens is, if you ask me personally who should buy, anybody who is in 35 plus where they have got one home to live, they should start planning for the retirement from now onwards. Because if I see on an income tax point of view, right now the amount is very small and you can afford to buy. And the best thing in our retirement homes is, you can rent it out till you come and stay there. Right. Say for example, 10 years down the lane or 15 years down the lane, you want to use the facility. Still, it's going to be possible because 
for the next 10 years, we as a company would be able to get you a rental for a long term, which means that you don't have to worry about maintenance of the apartment or paying the monthly rental or paying the monthly uh, maintenance and other things because as a company, we are responsible for the entire services for you. So Manasum comes as a full package of service provider for you for the next 15 years we sign and multiple of 15 years which means that you want to buy, you want to sell, you want to rent it out, you want to lease it or you want to gift it or you want to come back and live there the entire services are done by Manasum ourselves so, so as a company it's an end to end service so we have a lot of people who have come and said I want to sell my house 5 years over we have with them selling it, we have found a reseller same way, I want to rent it out because one six months I am not here, I have gone abroad. Right. So what we tell them, if you have a two bedroom house, one bedroom you put all your things, close it and give me one bedroom. Right. Even that one bedroom, I will give it for rental and give you some money when, until you come back. That's so nice. there's a lots and lots of options. So people, please do not hesitate to buy this because it is so called a retirement home or a old age home. It is like adding up your asset one more. So if you consider that way, then this is one of the best options for you because as an investor you should have it on multiple baskets that's what you say so in that one of the options can become this very fast because as we retire at that time if it becomes 1 crore yeah. again it will become unaffordable right? That's right this generation 50 lakh is not affordable next generation probably 1 crore for retirement home is not affordable <laughs> but got you are ready got it, got it so since you have opened up the topic on the commercials yes and we talk about what's involved the cost involved in purchasing a one bedroom Right. And a two bedroom, and what are all the fee uh, for various services which Manasum is offering? Yes, done. So uh, there are two parts to it. Always when you buy a retirement home, that you need to keep in mind. One is the uh, acquiring cost of the asset, and then the running cost, the recurring cost, right? So because it's a serviced home, the first is that I will talk about the cost of acquiring the asset. The one BHK starts at forty six point four five lakhs. And there's a one-time senior care uh, subscription charges and one year of advanced maintenance. So, all in all, uh, if you consider you are buying the house, the interiors, registration, everything put together for a one BHK, keep a budget of about 55 lakhs, mm -hmm. and about uh, 72 to 75 lakhs for a two BHK home. Okay. That is the cost of acquiring the asset. Next comes the services of it. So we charge eight rupees per square feet of your house as your uh, uh, cost mm -hmm. of maintenance. Which means for a 1 BHK, it's about 8,000 rupees as a cost of maintenance per month and uh, 10,000 rupees for a 2 BHK home. What does it cover? It's purely the common area uh, amenities and your, uh, you know, additional facilities and services which we all talked about for senior living will be covered in that. And uh, food is, is an additional cost. Food we charge 7,500 rupees plus taxes per head per month. So all in all to put for a, uh, for a couple living, Easily, if you are living in a one bedroom house, just at 25,000 rupees per month, you are having a hassle free living. That's your common area maintenance is taken care, your food is taken care, your uh, cost of uh, you know basic health care is taken care for checking of your vitals and XYZ. Going to uh, shopping malls or uh, markets close by, that is also taken care in the shuttle service vehicle that I am talking about. Okay. Any emergency that you want to handle in an ambulance also is taken care in this. You know, all these things comes at just 25,000 rupees per month if you're living in a 1 BHK and 30,000 rupees per month if you're looking at 2 BHK per month. And for owners, if uh, you know, you're just looking at an investment and then uh, people coming in and think, the huge demand for rentals also because a lot of people at that age think that, uh, you know, I don't want to get stuck with an asset for a longer time, but I can decide whether to stay here for six months or one year or then go back to my children or go back. So that is also... You know, a larger set of people who are looking out for rentals, right. so rental is also an option. The people who are coming in rental will bear all these costs and you can get a good amount of rentals. So what is the economy involved, Kishore, in that show? See, this is a growing market, you say. Yes. So what is the overall economy? What is the supply that is demand, especially compared to any other city in Bangalore? So uh, just some data stats. Very, very, yeah, yeah, simple data. So finally, 2023 seems to be awesome for senior living as a market because I don't think there are any new launches in 2021-22 across the country, if you see. Uh, when it comes to demand and supply, uh, definitely there is a huge amount of demand uh, and uh, huge shortage of supply, I must say. Uh, in a recent study by uh, you know, of the uh, Big Bs, uh, I saw that uh, the overall operating units in the whole country is just about 10,000. 
wherein uh, you know the demand is minimum of 3 lakh units wow. in the country as of now wow. and uh, coming to bangalore uh, there must be a total supply total supply of about uh, 1000 units uh, in overall that's in the bangalore that's, that's it it's a very very niche market as of now and there is a new launch and uh, i'm i'm we are so happy and proud yeah. to say yeah. that uh, Uh, we are the only community wherein uh, you know you have the one and two BHK choice and uh, ready to move in in the next uh, two months in the entire city for now. See, Godrej being a great day builder, getting an opportunity in a Godrej type of a project which is 13 acres amidst the youngsters, elders are going to have it as a senior paradise. So they are going to enjoy and it is for all age group. So they have to make up their mind and grab the opportunity <laughs> as we are doing a very good sale. Uh, just 15-20 days over, our uh, project is doing very well and there is at least uh, 8 to 10 uh, site visits happening on a daily basis. So we aspire to fill in fast and start the operation for services which is more exciting for us yeah. as fast as August 15th as possible. Super. Yes. So Bangalore was once a red month of paradise. Yeah. Yes. And it's going to be again. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, all the best happening with me. Yeah. So, that. so I think uh, I am totally convinced that the senior living uh, is to be considered by the seniors or by the children of the so-called seniors to give one to their golden years. So if you are also convinced, comment below as yes. If you are not convinced, comment below no. And put your thought process. Let me try to address that along with Samati and Pusha. Yes. And uh, with that thought, let us ask them uh, the closing uh, thoughts. Samati, closing thought. Pusha, your closing thought. Yeah. Yes. One life to live, one life to enjoy. That's how we have been grown up. Okay. Now we are grown up. Let us make them enjoy one life to live, the best life to live. That's nice. So my closing thought would be that uh, I've been a pampered kid always. and i'd love to pamper my grandparents or my parents and uh, for anybody for that matter who would not be you know interested to be pampered right if you want to be pampered at your retirement that senior living is a destination for that so yeah wow thank you so much uh, sumati and kushal for uh, coming and talking about senior living with us and uh, let's hope that uh, you know we have our own clients coming up by the uh, from marsu which is number one senior living uh, you know solutions provider so with that friends we'll see you in our next week thank, thank you so thank much, you so much thank you bye bye